Hello everybody. Welcome to Father Sean's Sunday message. It's the 32nd Sunday of the year and I want to read from this weekend's gospel. It's according to St. Luke and I read from the very end of this week's gospel. And Luke tells us that Moses himself implies that the dead rise again in the passage about the bush where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he is God, not of the dead, but of the living. For to him, all people are in fact alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And hi again, everybody. There has been changes since we prayed last weekend, massive changes externally. There's a, a huge change to the amount of darkness that we are living in now that the clock has changed. And there is a huge amount of darkness and much, much less light. Joan Chichester in her monthly newsletter alerts us to this, uh, connects us, but also she mentions that there are changes within ourselves, that we, we, are, we slow down at this time of the year. And all of that invites us to hold our memories or to search into our memories of our loved ones and to get in touch with, with the grief that we experience. Also, with the memories we have, the great memories we have of, of love. And, and, and they are all around us. And this is the time of the year when we connect with that. It's the time of the year also for Christians when we claim the resurrection. This is the month of November and, and our faith tells us and we believe it that Jesus is risen and, and we pray for as well as calling to mind that our loved ones will rise from the dead with Jesus. To help us slow down here we invite people to write their names, the names of our loved ones, and place them on the tree here. This is our tree of remembrance, our tree of memories. And it's a lovely experience to, to come to the tree, take a few moments, reflect on, on those who've gone before us, write their name and put them here in the sanctuary for, for our prayer of resurrection. So it is a time of remembrance of our loved ones, but it's also a time to claim, uh, it's, it's, it's a time to claim life itself. Always when we uh, remember those who have died, we think about our own lives and, and, and we claim our lives so that we can live life to the fullest, not necessarily the fastest, but to live life to the full. And we continue in prayer, and we pray for those who have died recently uh, in Ballybunion Parish. We pray for John Sonny O'Connor of Doom Road, and for Anne Lynch of Wexford and Tullamore. Both of whose funerals took place in the past week. And for those whose anniversaries occur around now, first anniversaries is Joe Lynch and Imelda Barry. And then those whose anniversaries occur, Jack Costello, Bridget, Philomena Nagel Ryan, John Nagel, Timmy Shapru, Eileen Holly, Ellen McAuliffe, Michael and Kate Devan of Bale, Catherine Carmody, Kitty, Ro Kitty Reardon, Tom Hayes, Patrick Dominic Lyons, and Buddy Houlihan. And we make these prayers in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you for joining with me, and we pray again next weekend. Thank you.